experts are struggling to pin down exactly who or what is causing the toxic algae in our waters. Some say heavy rains or high water levels. Others are looking at farmers or residential runoff going into the lake. Where the finished product comes. Now all the water starts at the very beginning up there where it gets initially hit with the chlorine or whatever disinfectant you deem appropriate. The secondary treatment facility, we have to disinfect it before we can discharge it into the stream. At this plant, we use gaseous chlorine to disinfect the wastewater, and it's coming in one-ton cylinders. It could also come in 150-pound cylinders or 100-pound cylinders. You could also get chlorine in a liquid form, which is the same as the bleach that you use in your house, or you can get it in a solid tablet form. All of them perform the same function. Removes the pathogens from the wastewater before it's discharged into the stream. We're at the chlorine contact chamber where we disinfect the effluent from our secondary wastewater treatment process. We add chlorine at the beginning of this basin because what we need is a chlorine concentration and a contact time. This is it. This is the end of our treatment. We've gone through our preliminary, our primary, and our secondary treatment. We've done our disinfection. We've got our contaminants out, got rid of our pathogens, and it's taken about 12 hours for a drop of water. Going to clear up a horribly nasty green pool, one of the worst that I've ever seen, and probably one of the worst that you have ever seen. Now, the top of the pool was not nearly as bad as what I was scooping out on the bottom of the pool. So, go ahead and check this out. Feel that, buddy? Huh? 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 I have exercised the demons. This house is clear. In particular, the treatment and reuse of wastewater are therefore extremely important. Hydrogen peroxide and parasitic acid can be used in many water treatment applications. Thanks to their eco-friendly properties, hydrogen peroxide and parasitic acid are increasingly replacing environmentally harmful chlorine compounds. Hydrogen peroxide either alone or in combination with an activating agent such as an iron salt, UV light or ozone, can directly oxidize organic substances in what is known as an advanced oxidation process, AOP. AOP technology is an effective method of wastewater treatment, particularly for degradation of problematic organic molecules and other harmful substances in industrial wastewater streams from chemical and pharmaceutical plants. Hydrogen peroxide decomposes only into water and oxygen.